y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> so I just got out of the shower. Move this back just a little. Just got out of the shower and I am about to start getting ready. Um, my friend and I are going to a baseball game. It's pretty exciting. Um, so the Yankees are playing the Marlins here in Miami. So we were just gonna grab brunch and then she found $10 tickets um, online. So she purchased them and we're going. So I need to put a little outfit together. I have my Yankee cap representing New York. And then it's gonna be really hot. So I have to strategize. I'm thinking maybe a skirt and a tank top with a hat and sneakers. So let's see, let's see what we come up with. So yeah, come with me to the Marlins versus Yankee game. Here's a quick story time while I lotion. Just using this little mini bottle to RV because trying to use up everything I have before buying your stuff. I just ran out of my huge um, moisturizer, like my huge cocoa bean, and I was gonna buy a new bottle, but I was like, you know what? You have a bunch of these mini bottles, so why don't we use that? So, quick story time. Um, when I moved to Miami, it was, the decision was based primarily on me wanting to just live a lifestyle that was like more nature-based, um, just a place where I can go to the beach often, you know, I lived in, it's a different story time, but during 2021, I moved to Hawaii for four months and I loved it there. I was like, so relaxing. The culture was not based around like going out, partying, drinking. It was like going to the beach, hiking, learning how to surf, like just like activities. Um, and on most of don't even involve drinking like at all. I really, really like that change of pace from New York. Um, love New York, I have nothing ever bad to say about it. Um, but, hold on, let me switch the lighting. Well, it's spot off. Okay, quick story time while I lotion up and my hair's mask. So I swapped positions because this is the lighting is much better this way. Um, so where did I leave off? Okay, so I love New York. Nothing bad ever to say about New York. It's still my favorite city in the world. Anywhere you go in the world, if you tell people you live in New York or you're from New York, they are like, oh my god. Like you don't get that reaction every city in the world. New York you do. But <clears throat> New York lifestyle is harsh. I was there for 14 years. Um, you know, all the walking, all of the public transportation. If you like needed anything, you know, going to the store um, to get it was just like a hassle. They have a lot of delivery services, but that comes along with all the fees. Anyway, I moved home during the pandemic. I moved home during the pandemic and I bought a car because my parents live in like the suburbs of New Jersey and there's really no way to get around unless you have a car. So I had, came back from Hawaii, bought a car. Oh wait, lies. I bought a car, moved to Hawaii for four months, fell in love with the lifestyle, moved back home to New Jersey, was like living in New York still. I go drive into New York a few times a week, see my friends, work, whatever. Um, but it was just not calling my name in the same way. Like if I had extra time on my hands, I preferred going to like the beach than to a bar to grab a drink. Um, not that I'll turn down a drink, but I just prefer to go to the beach. So I started strategizing on like where could I live that has like a more low key lifestyle and Miami just made the most sense. It is two hours away from New York. I can get to my family really quickly. They love Miami, so they can come down whenever they want. It's not like LA where I have to like do a whole six hour travel. This is like two, three hours, half the time. Um, my background, my family is Latin. My parents were born in Venezuela. So like the Latin culture here feels like home. Um, so many things. And there's also so many New York transplants 
now here in Miami that it feels more like home. Every single restaurant in New York that's like popular has opened up a location here in Miami. So I don't know if it's forever, but I do think that it is a good place to call home and I'm really loving it. But I will say that it is hard to be away from family and friends. Like at home, I have my whole phone book for people <clears throat> to reach out to people. Although a lot of my friends left the city after the pandemic, like my core group, maybe like four people were left. But I have ex coworkers, uh, old classmates that I like kind of keep in touch with all my family, my cousins, my niece, like every everything's there. Um, so I had a few friends when I moved here, just a few. I had a good, um, a good friend from college, him and his wife, they both, both actually went to college with me. Um, and then just a sprinkle, but nothing like central, like uh, nothing with a core where like everyone knew each other, which is kind of nice too. It's refreshing to like start over in some aspects, but making friends in your 30s is not easy. I will admit that, but I love my alone time. Like I can find ways to preoccupy myself. This is a great example. Um, so I'm kind of cool living in my own little world, but it is nice to have friends and family to reach out to. So today I'm going to this baseball game with a friend who I met through one of my best friends from home. She went to college with her. Uh, she lived in New York as well. She moved to Miami. So a mutual friend was like, you guys should hang out since I know both of you and you're both from New York. You know, you might hit it off. And we did, so, so fun. So fun to make new friends. And I'm excited today to do something totally different than I've done before, which is a baseball game. So I'm gonna put together something simple to wear, represent New York, and I have to head there around noon. We're gonna have mimosas at hers and then take an Uber to the stadium. Okay, let's get ready. What should I wear? What should I wear? What should I wear? Oh, I have this one eyebrow hair that I need to cut. And look, there she is. I need to find scissors and give it a little trim. Just being real. Look at that. What the hell? All right, let's find something to wear. Okay, this is what I landed on. I'm gonna do this skirt. It's kind of wrinkled, but it's gonna be hot, so it's gonna get wrinkled anyways. <laughs> This Zara tank. My Yankee hat. My clear coach tabby for the stadium. And my pink shades. I'm not even that much of a pink girl, but here we are. Okay, I put on half the outfit and adjusted my makeup, super light. Like, I'm gonna be sweating my ass off, so I'm not doing too heavy of a makeup, <laughs> nor do I ever, but I like this eyeshadow. It brings out the gold in my eyes. So I'm gonna do my hair. I think I'm just gonna wear a baseball cap, so I think I'm just a pony, like it's gonna be so hot. Okay, right, let's do the hair. Okay, this is the fit. Skirt is Zara. Button up is J. Crew. Tank is Zara. Bag is Coach. Strap is from a gift shop. Sunnies are Gucci and Yankee hat. Oh, and then my hookahs. Let's go.
just got back from the game. Put a quick outfit change in my Britney Spears shirt, which is much more my speed. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you a little bit about the experience of the game. So like I said earlier in the vlog, my friend found like $10 tickets um, through, she just like Googled it, but she found $10 tickets and it was Yankees versus Marlins. And the funny thing is, is that I'm going to a Red Sox versus Yankee game in Yankee Stadium in less than a week. And we bought those tickets for like $122. And I saw the Yankees play the Marlins at the Marlins Stadium uh, for 10 bucks, which is just crazy. The stadium is so cool. Like I was so scared of being so hot today, like overheated because my experience of going to like a summer Yankee game and sitting like directly in the sun has been like, it was like impossible to like actually enjoy the game because it was just like sweltering hot. Um, but the Marlin Stadium, which is pretty new, it is, it's the Lone Depot Stadium is what it's called. And it has this retractable roof and the entire stadium is like indoor, outdoor, and it has this air conditioned like ventilation system that maintains like a 75 degree temperature in the inside. So the entire experience was like so lovely, never felt overheated. Like I could have worn a jacket really, like necklaces always tangle, but that made the game like so much more enjoyable. There were so many Yankee fans. Like I feel like most of Miami is maybe from New York at this point, or they're just like, you know, the Yankees were, were, cause I won't spoil it, even though it's already happened, but they, they're a really good team. So 10 bucks for the game. We, um, you know, did the typical baseball stadium things. We got beers, we got chicken tendies and French fries. Um, we had decent seats like they were like a high up but like the angle was really it was a good angle we could see like um i guess let me see if i can figure this out we were kind of like right of second base um so we're at the game so this is like the little story time so we're at the game and i think it's like the eighth inning and the yankees are up um i think it was like seven to two or something like that so we're like you know what let's just leave early to beat the rush you know we kind of have this understanding at this point that the Yankees are gonna win so we leave and we uh, are waiting for our uber outside and then the game lets out um, our uber is on the way and we're sitting in this parking lot of the Walgreens like waiting for our uber and then all of a sudden this Marlins fan comes up to this Yankee fan and starts talking shit. Like, you guys thought you won, like, whatever. I won't say all the bad words. And I'm like, what is this guy talking about? And then I like Google the game and the freaking Marlins scored like five, like five runs in the last inning and they ended up winning. How funny is that? So the Yankees did not win. Um, but that's okay, because, you know, if I'm not a Yankees fan, I guess I'm a Marlins fan. Um, but overall, 10 out of 10 experience. It's so much fun, and it's nice to do something, like, a little different, like I said. An activity that, yes, may include a beer, but, like, it's not focused primarily on the beer. Um, but, you know, the game is at 1. It's about 4.30 right now, maybe 5.00. I have to check my phone, but I can't while well, I'm recording now. So I'm gonna keep it low key. I'm gonna make some dinner, something filling because I am hungry. <laughs> no other reason than that. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a pasta. Um, and then I'm just gonna lay up by the pool for a little bit, make dinner, um, and then I might film a quick TikTok. I've seen people doing these like what fits in my bag um and they're doing them with like their mini speedy uh louis vuittons which are teeny tiny but they hold so much it's like she is small but she is mighty and i'm gonna see how many things i can fit in that bag and pack it up and film a tiktok because i love watching those 
I'm enthralled. Put me on what's in my bag TikTok. So yeah, just low key rest of the the day. Wrap up Sunday and be refreshed for a new start to the week. All right, so join me as I pack what's in my little baby speedy. Thank you.